So how does telemedical screening work? The basic problem is that there are world regions where not enough ophthalmologists are available to carry out all necessary diabetic retinopathy screenings on their own. One solution, which is also promoted by the World Health Organization, is telemedicine. Using telemedicine, screening for diabetic retinopathy can become more easily available and screening coverage, as well as cost effectiveness, can increase. Core element is the screening camp, where patients are examined not by doctors, but by medical assistants using imaging devices. In a telemedical diabetic retinopathy screening, the patient's retina is imaged with color funnels photography. Next, these images are transferred to the ophthalmologist via the internet using an app. The ophthalmologist will then analyze the images and determine presence and severity of diabetic retinopathy. The results and information on how to proceed are then transferred back to the screening camp where the patient is informed by the medical assistant. Beneficial aspects of the telemedical setting are the higher cost effectiveness compared to a setting where the doctor needs to travel to the camp her or himself. If the examination is thoroughly performed, it is also comparable to a normal eye examination in terms of sensitivity to detect diabetic retinopathy. So why are we using smartphones for funnels photography? In many world regions, costs remain a challenging barrier for implementation of diabetic retinopathy screenings. However, most adapters for smartphone-based funnels imaging are less cost-intensive as compared to conventional devices. Therefore, this approach can allow screening where it might otherwise not be available.